Welcome to GCSE Biology Required Practical Activity 8. So it's looking at the effects of the intensity of light on crest seeds. So as you can see, we've got the apparatus here. We've got some crest seed um, and I've measured out 10 crest seeds separately in the Petri dish. And what you're going to do is, is just set, set up the experiment. So first of all, you're going to need some cotton wool um, and the cotton wool you're going to place into the bottom of the Petri dish. And then you're going to add some water just to make it damp. Okay, so don't put too much water in. Okay, just to, there we go. Uh, and then you're going to add the 10 crest seeds. Now it's really important with the 10 crest seeds that you um, put them in in uh, kind of equal distances. So if I just, just sprinkle them on there, just to give them enough distance between the crest seeds so that they can grow. Okay, and then once you've finished, you can put your Petri dish lid on and you can label it, please, okay? So what I've done is I've done that three times and if I just show you, I've got three uh, Petri dishes here and I've allowed these to germinate. So germinate means just basically for the seedlings to, to start to grow. So these have all been on a, uh, a, a lit windowsill um, and now they're ready for the experiment. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to change the light intensity. So this first one, I'm going to stick it on a windowsill with lots of light. This one with partial light, so probably in the classroom away from the window. And then this one I'm going to stick in a cupboard um, periodically. So I'll stick it in a cupboard for a day and then partial light uh, for a day and then back in the cupboard. And then once they've started to grow, I'm going to use the ruler and uh, my dependent variable in this case is measuring the length of the crest seed. Um, and I will do that for seven days. So in the next seven days, once they're in the different areas, I will then measure the length of the crest seed and see how much they've grown. Okay, it was seven days later and as you can see, the crest seeds have grown. And um, if you can see that, that this um, Petri dish is, was kept in full light. This one in partial light, so this was kept at the back of the lab. And this one was kept in a uh, cupboard, in a dark cupboard. And you can immediately see there is a difference in the heights, even though they're starting to uh, fall down. You can see that actually, uh, surprisingly to most, full light has the least height, then partial, then no light. Um, and we know that because I've been measuring every day for seven days, I've been measuring the length of each crest seed. So you use a ruler, you're going to measure in millimetres, and you measure basically from the bottom of the plant to the top of the plant. And you try and ensure that it is straight as possible. And then you record it in millimetres. It's quite fiddly, um, but you can then uh, do that for each um, treatment. So here is some results. So this is the results I had for the height of the seedling in full sunlight. So notice I've got days, so seven days, and I've got eight seedlings that I measured. Um, so what you have to do is measure each seedling. So I've measured eight seedlings from each um, in millimeters, and then I found a mean value. To work out a mean, just remember that you have to add up all of the uh, heights for that particular day and divide by the number of crest seeds. So in this case it was eight. So I added all of that up and divided by eight and I got 3.0 as a mean. And as you can see, over the days, the crest seeds have grown. Um, what I would be able to do is then compare that with partial light and compare that with no light. Um, and then I could plot a graph of my results where I could plot three lines, one for full light, one for partial light, one for no light. The reason why the crest seeds have grown with no light is, is that if you imagine seeds are put into soil and soil tends to be dark, obviously um, there's no light and um, the crest seed has to grow very, very quickly to get to the light. So this is what this, this sample has done so they're much much taller but if I left it for another seven days in the dark then these would die the reason they would die is obviously can't they can't photosynthesize because there's no light 
but also they would have run out of uh, stores of energy from their seed. So um, this is the reason why germinating seeds, they will grow taller without light to start off with. However, you can see there is a difference as well in the health of the seeds as well. You can see these look a bit healthier um, than these. These are very elongated and stretched out. Uh, and as the leaves aren't as well defined as that. Anyway, so it's quite a nice little experiment. You can do that with mustard seed, cress seeds, any type of seed really. Um, and you can get some really nice results from that. So that is the end of this practical.